Guys, we got a chance to get out to Beast of the East. Let's walk through what went on at this show. For one, Chris wanted to bring back community. What is community? Oftentimes when you bring in a group of individuals, they're often divided. That's not community. So what was his, his goal? Bringing some people there, for one, that were going to support and assist slash help him whatever way possible. Two, make sure that it was an inclusive event. What is inclusion? Inclusion means although it was based around this, this oldie, right? This is, the, this is the oldie bulldog event. Guess what? A oldie wasn't the dog. A oldie wasn't the dog that won the Beast of the East. And some people are not so happy about it. Neither here nor there. I don't know. But I could imagine if you came out and brought your oldie and thought this was going to be about oldies, the Beast of the East was a bore. So, he invited me, Better Best Dog, AKA Fit Bully TV and Iron Sharp K9, my guy Stan, to assist in giving some people who like to work their dogs work. And guess what? Some of the working people had their dogs in the ring showing. You say, wow, the dogs can do both? Absolutely. Some of those dogs that you see at the AKC West Minister, guess what? They look like they've been working because I've seen a golden retriever with muscle. I said, man, that dog looks good. And Joker was carrying a lion's mane with him. He was gorgeous. And we saw the bloodhound that won. Point is this. We got to see two ABKC shows, which uh, they happen all the time. <laughs> and we got to see the old school style of Beast of the East with respect, love, and admiration for the dog. This is basically one of the highest levels of beauty pageant for a dog. Because when you get a dog, especially in that bull type breed, you get it because it's supposed to look like a dog. And a dog to some people is foo foo loving. You get to love it and hold on to it. Shout out to the general. Guys, we are sitting here with. <laughs> but in this case, you 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 get one of these type breeds because it's just it is like I'm gonna either own a dog that looks like it can rock your world or give me a lion. <laughs> and then you have a real beast, and you might have a real problem. So at least the dog's tameable, manageable, lovable, and and. Um, will respect and take care of you in some regards and protect you so beast of the east he will be doing it in 2024 we got a chance to get out and support our guy some great vendors there some great dog people it was great energy a great atmosphere shout out to everyone who came and shook fit bully tv's hands mine jamarcus's iron sharp canines but definitely those who took the second uh, at one point i got to be honest there was there was a line you know, three to four people at a time, whenever I stopped to talk, they were like, yo, I got to talk to you too, man. I want to, can I get a picture of such and such? I'll be honest with you guys. I, didn't, I don't think much of what we do because I have this big vision, right? And this big vision says, we're not there yet. But in retrospect, there are a lot more people who appreciate the things we've done as we attempt to work to get closer to being there. And I can't thank, I mean, I, when I say I can't thank I wish there was something I could give you. That's what I'm saying. So I can't thank you enough. I literally wish that there was more I could give you. But here's what you guys appreciate. I appreciate your work. I appreciate the information. Please keep the post up. I learn something new all the time. I can't thank you enough for, for doing what you do. So clearly, I can give more. And when I've left there, I told the guys, I said, man, we, uh, I think we really are on to something here, guys. Because I didn't come as a influencer, you know, social media guru mogul dog best dogman in the world i came as a friend a friend of chris moore's to support making sure his show is captured in the way that, that that he liked it to be captured and that he gets some good content and we gave him literally 100 gigs of information to to keep uh <laughs> from all the stuff that we shot so when we say they were that we were there to shoot uh we shot people we shot we shot lights out and we've got more stuff coming, more stuff to share, more stuff to show. But we know that there is way more work to do and, and we plan on doing so. So for me, it was refreshing to see the people come out and be in good spirits, a bunch of smiles and handshakes and love. And yeah, there was ego, but it wasn't egotistical. And people were having fun. And that for me was refreshing because I've been to some bully shows and people are uptight and um, apprehensive to to be kind or respectful and you know he just wanted people to have a good time and I can tell you I've been to maybe four or five shows and uh, can honestly say 
I never really feel good leaving them. If anything, I'm in a rush to get out of there. What I can say is, is this was one of the best experiences I've had at a dog show. To be clear, and I can't thank Chris Moore and Gina Moore and their families for, for one, supporting them, being there, assisting and clean up and set up and all that other stuff. And, and Jamarcus as well as Stan for coming and, and helping do as much as we could to make sure that the uh, event continued to run smooth. So people, 2024, Beast of the East, he'll be doing it again. I believe it's going to get better. Stay tuned because we got more stuff coming. There were shorty bulls, there were pit bulls, there were bulldogs, there was American bulldog, there were English bulldogs, there was uh, a boar bull. I think I seen a tangle out there. There were some dogs there, people, and you know, seeing them up live, up close in person, you go, wow, man. <clears throat> even that, even Brody, man, Chris got a bulldog. I'm liable to, I'm liable to just send him this way. I know what to do, and I don't need him to be Ego or Zara or Tron or Cha Cha or, or the General. He just be the cool homie, man. And I enjoyed that grunting dog. And I normally don't like bulldogs, but Chris has got some stuff over there that you go, man. And he wants me to have a bulldog. He says it's selfish, man. <laughs> knows that if you get a bulldog this could uh, continue to highlight the opportunity people uh, might be missing out on getting a bulldog I like him uh, I like his I gotta be honest. I like his I like his guys thank you for watching TFit here Fit Bully TV signing off Beast of the East 2024 we will see you there